We ask you to join with us on a special mission that has a direct impact on every community and every family across this country. As America's wars end, tens of thousands of wounded veterans have been coming home from Iraq and Afghanistan. And every day, every night, a hidden army of loving caregivers take up a struggle of their own for the rest of their lives. A groundbreaking new study was released late today showing 1.1 million caregivers younger than ever at risk for major health problems of their own and they need help. So tonight, coming home, a rallying cry for the people inside the world of hidden heroes. Our wedding, it was incredible. When a hero goes to war, so does a family. All the dreams of all the families of warriors who went off to fight with everything they had. But when they were wounded, no one has a medal for the people now taking up their fight here at home. Like Jessica Klein with her six foot tall West Point grad husband, Captain Edward Klein, called Flip. Today, she's the primary caregiver as he fights his way back from an IED explosion in Afghanistan the loss of legs and arm, the muscle that allows him to sit down, and a massive lower body injury. We know that his courage is incalculable, but how many days do you say you can't do it? It's too much. Pretty much daily. Uh, it's, it's funny, the people around me have much more confidence in me and my abilities than I do. You know, there's, there's the Mother Teresa quote, you know, God only gives you as much as you can handle. Well, apparently God thinks I'm pretty good. She's just one of the 1.1 million caregivers of soldiers from Afghanistan and Iraq who do the impossible. She is tiny, but his support at home and when they travel. There have been times I've had to pick my husband up and carry him from his wheelchair to his airplane seat because his legs failed. And showering. And I have had to pick him up, you know, soaking wet and try not to drop him while I'm standing one foot in the tub and one foot out and put him in his wheelchair. And she didn't know that someone caring for her husband at Walter Reed was watching the other caregivers. Former Senator Elizabeth Dole seeing the towering battle that caregivers face, and she decided it was time for a nation to help. She commissioned a report to put some hard numbers to these caregivers. This is a crisis. I think it's a crisis, a societal crisis that really requires a national response. The needs of the caregivers remain largely unknown. So these are people who are uh, just, you know, voluntarily, um, they're, they're an unpaid workforce, there's no question. Great to see oh, you. Just, the majority great. trying to juggle full-time jobs and full-time caregiving, and nearly 30% just can't do it and have to give up jobs altogether. So did you have any doubt she'd be here every step of the way? No, not once. Nearly a third have no health insurance for themselves and nearly 40% at risk for major depression. Depression? Real depression? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a process. We're, we're, I grieve. He grieves. We grieve together. We grieve apart. We, you know, there was a life that we were supposed to have, and and we grieve for it. Yeah, it's it's very difficult. It's what we heard all over the country. Not only the medical responsibility of life and death, but being a therapist and taking on a system that can be famously bureaucratic. Constant battle. Every time we turn around, got another another red tape thing to jump through. A constant barrage of everything. The phone calls, the red tape, trying to reach a live person on the line. She's as much a warrior to the VA as I was in Afghanistan. A nation coming home from war, but millions of caregivers for whom the war will never end. Senator Dole is organizing a nationwide effort to go state by state, combining faith organizations, government, business, nonprofits to help the caregivers. And standing by her, her husband, a war hero and once wounded himself, giving a salute to all of those who care for the wounded today. I'm trying to inspire <laughs> uh, organizations and Americans all across this country to support these hidden heroes because their story really is not known across America. And these are the very people who are caring for those who cared for us. So, do you wanna say, just help us a little? 
just a little. I want to say don't forget about us. And in the coming days, we're going to be telling you about some ideas people just like you, your neighbors, already have to help these caregivers. And if you want to learn more about all of this, go to our website, abcnews.com and elizabethdolefoundation.org.